it's round about quarter to five now so I'm going to start to introduce some bait I've already set the rods up which I'll go through shortly before I start to fish but I want to get some bait in the swim and this is the way to do it no bait up feeder for me balls of ground bait there's 11 in there and there's 11 in there now the ground bait I'm using is Bait Tech MV Green and Bait Tech Special G Margin so you've got that sort of olive green colour but also in there is a whole bag of soaked Bait Tech carping coarse pellet in 4mm and as you can see they're all nice and soft so that's been added to that mix as well as you can see there squeeze done so that's going to hold on the method feeder but it's also going to break down nice and easy so took that out of the way I've got all the balls ready to go as you can see there put that back up got all the balls ready to go as I showed you now I'm going to wait for this boat to go and I'm going to start to introduce a bit of bait most of the balls as you can see they're all a uniform size there is some is there a little tiny bit bigger but what you want it is sort of a uniform size so it sits in that cup how that sits in there is perfect if it's too big then that will split so there's one little bit bigger but it still sits in that cup so like I say I've made these up about five minutes ago now I've just squeezed them together with some wet hands so hopefully they'll all stay together where I want them which is about 50 yards so look so I've got 11 in each pot there I've got two lines two rods both on the same sort of line but I'm going to put the same amount on each one so once once that pot's empty I know that's all I'm done then I'll move on to the other pot that's on the other line which are going to be about 10 meters apart or well, that's the theory so that boat's gone by now so I'm now going to start introduce a bit of bait make sure hands nice and dry gripping the catapult I'll hold the catapult at arm's length then I'll pull it back then tension my arm and hopefully once I get my eye in they should almost go roughly in the same sort of area and I do mean roughly so we'll just see if we can get the range that is just about spot on always make sure that ball is sat in the cup a little bit short a bit bigger ball that's better that's on the money a little bit bigger ball again so now I've got to just give it that little bit of extra teddy on the money bit bigger again little, little bit of extra tension on the money again little bit to the left on the other swim don't matter just make sure that's in that cup ow or well, that is what will happen there we go so you do get one or two mishaps hence the reason make up a lot of balls so get that back in there Right, that's that lot done. A little bit to the left this time for this other swim. A little bit bigger ball. Once you know roughly when you're doing it, you don't even have to watch 
you know that's going to go in the right place. One more. And that's it. That is the initial feed gone in. So whatever happens now, it doesn't matter. I've got the rod set up. I want to get everything else sorted for the evening. So I want to make sure I get my kettle over there, out the way. I want the rest of the bait where I, where I need it. Me, me food and drink where I need it. And everything else totally out the way. So all in all, like I say, that's the baiting. Can't beat catapulting it in. Bit of accuracy, once you get your eye in, it's perfect. Right, I'm gonna get sorted, then I'm gonna run through the setup, then we'll get a bait on, hopefully get one or two fish. Oosh.